What's up, guy and girl players of WoW? Taro here bringing you a video on the new Creepy Crate quest line. For more free WoW guides, subscribe and check out my website at tarowowguides.com. Hey everyone, I hope your Hallow's End questing is going good. I uh, just wanted to let you know that we have a new quest called Missing Heirlooms. And basically this quest line is going to eventually get you the creepy crate that you might have saw in a video that I released the other day. Uh, what you want to do is you want to start out, grab the quest inside Orgrimmar, uh, Stormwinds, or possibly other places. And the first thing I want you to do is if you're Horde, head over to... Uh, the dock right outside of Orgrimmar on the east side and basically search the ship that's there. Now if you do have the uh, Call to Duty quest, it's not going to let you see the ship. So first you either want to complete that or possibly abandon it. Once you do that, you'll be able to see on the east side of Orgrimmar there will be a ship. Uh, just go inside that ship, grab the, uh, the item and then it tells you that basically you see something moving on the floor and it's these little purple you know, uh, spiders, and they're all trailing back to the auction house inside Orgrimmar. From there, you end up talking to the auctioneer, and uh, you know, he goes on and tells you a little bit of a story about, you know, what he, uh, what he knows. And you're basically trying to track down this uh, thief who went and stole some stuff. So the next thing that it has you do is, you know, find out about the uh, Drofers and the Sun, which is over near where you would do your alchemy training, which is right next to it, basically. And uh, go inside that building. Kind of just got to listen there. Uh, and once all the dialogue is uh, finished up between them, then you'll be able to turn this quest in as well. Once you turn that in, it's going to ask you to get a few items. Um, the Crystal Vial is uh, going to be right from the alchemy supply vendor which is two buildings down and then arcane powder will be just one building down from the regent vendor and the finally uh, blood nettle is actually going to be scattered about over near uh, in the valley of wisdom and just look around the buildings and stuff like that and you'll see it you know sparkling up and grab five of those pretty simple and then you're going to head back to the drag to uh, that deli and sunshade turn that in and then finally what you want to do is go, uh, you're going to actually be interrupting a meeting between um, Sanoth and the, uh, the actual thief. Uh, the easiest way to get there, of course, is to take the Zeppelin. Once you get over there, uh, it's basically on the side of the ruins. So just kind of fly over there or walk over there. There's going to be some dead bodies um, and some purple lightning. You can kind of follow to get there if you're not sure exactly where it is. Uh, basically, once you get there, you just want to sit there again, wait through some dialogue and um, into the storyline. Then there's going to be something that spawns. Now you're looking at it and if you're a low B, you're like, wow, 65K, oh my God. But don't worry because it, it seems to scale with your level. So the lower level you are, the less HP it's going to have. Once you get that completed, uh, hearth back to Orgrimmar and right behind the innkeeper inside that building is going to be Edgar and once you turn that in, you get your little creepy crate. And this little bugger is pretty cool. So if you kind of drag him near uh, any critters, he'll kind of look at them with his eyes and then he'll grab them with like a death grip, eat them up, and then you see his tongue stick out and uh, you know, like he's satisfied with eating the little critter. So it's kind of neat pet, something interesting that they did for this uh, year's Hollow's End. And that's pretty much the quest line, so make sure you do it if you want to, you know, get a new pet, if you're trying to get any of those achievements as well. Okay, thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Now go leave a comment telling me what your favorite part about Hollow's End is. Mine's definitely got to be the two new pets that have been added with this holiday.